So in Shrimad Bhagavatam, uh, book 8, chapter 12, verse 24 to 33, it says, the verse 25, it says, the Lord Shiva, his good senses taken away by the women because of lusty desires to enjoy with her. Because, because he, he, because, because, became so mad for her that even in the presence of his wife Bhavani, he did not hesitate, hesitate to approach her. The beautiful woman was already naked and she was with the Lord Shiva coming towards her. She became extremely bashful. Thus she keeps smiling. So again in the later verse it says, verse number 32 it says, just as the maddened bull elephant followed a female elephant, who is able to conceive pregnancy, Lord Shiva followed the beautiful woman and discharged semen, even though his semen, uh, discharge of the semen doesn't go in vain. The king, who, whosoever on the surface of the earth, fells the semen of the great personality, Lord Shiva, mines of gold and silver came after, appeared it. So can you please tell me that, uh, does it sound uh, a godly book or the word of God? So that, that pastime is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who, took of, who manifested the form of a woman of Mahini Murti. And so Shiva in that pastime is being attracted to the Supreme Personality of Godhead who's manifested the form of a woman. So he is not lowly for being attracted like that because he is a devotee of Krishna. And this is Krishna. You know, Krishna can delude us. We, we, we are... Uh, yeah, including Shiva, we are, are not so great that we cannot be deluded by God. God, God can, can attract in a lusty way, even Shiva. And, and Shiva is so great that there's, there's stories of Shiva being above lust, but, but not when it's Krishna personally uh, do it, that, that is attracting him. So in one sense, that's a glorification of Shiva that he's att attracted like that. To, I mean, of course it shows Krishna is greater than Shiva. That's one thing we get from that. But um. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a pastime of, uh, which, which teaches us a lesson. The, the reason that's there is to show uh, Shiva's subordinates to Krishna and how Krishna can bewilder even Shiva.